And Steve, the pain is deep for the Stevensons. It's a parent's worst nightmare to lose one child. This family lost two of their sons, but the Stevensons, they are pushing forward, turning this pain into progress, hoping to help other families who may be impacted by a fentanyl overdose. This right here was the last picture that we took of the three of them. Diane Stevenson comes to this space in her apex home and reflects. And it was just so special. Reflects on her two boys, Parker and William. Parker and William were our two sons that we lost from fentanyl overdoses. Parker died in May 2018 at 27 years old. William, her oldest, overdosed last January. He was 34 very athletic. They loved sports. They were avid Duke fans. Diane and Will Stevenson initially had no idea what fentanyl was until it took their sons. Talk about blindsided. We were blindsided. Nowadays, everything out there on the streets is laced with fentanyl. We got to talk about it. Justin Garrity is the director of recovery at Healing Transitions in Raleigh. He says stories like the Stevenson's are becoming too common with the impact fentanyl is having on our community. This is not a continued use drug. It could be one time use, overdose and fatality. According to the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, more than 77% of overdose deaths in the state are likely linked to fentanyl. Justin says the victims are getting younger. Children that are in high school may be taking drugs. They may be going to a party they may be taking a drug that they think is safe, but it's not. It's laced with fentanyl. We need to be realistic about it. We need to have community support. And that's how the Stevensons are showing up in the name of Parker and William. If we can help other families, then, you know, we have decided that that's what we want to do. And talking about it helps erase the stigma attached to drug use and addiction. And to put this in perspective on how fentanyl is impacting our community, Justin's recovery program reported 32 overdoses this month, four last night, and we are only nine days in the month of May. In Raleigh, Jimmy's Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.